in a land steeped in history and vibrant culture, where the spirit of adventure thrives. Prepare to explore an extraordinary destination from the heart of Brazil's northeastern coast, where the rhythms of tradition ring from the bell towers of yesteryear. Welcome to Olinda, Pernambuco, a place where legends come to life and heroes leave their mark. Amidst the rhythmic sway of Frevo, our story takes shape. But the best thing you can do is just do what the locals do. So one of the many, many, many things you can do in this city is check out the artesian market. We are just following locals around. There are tons of guides everywhere. We'll probably hire a guide as well. Uh, but the best thing you can do is just do what the locals do. They probably come out here every other weekend or two or three times a year. is this little terrace which gives a beautiful lookout to Olinda and beyond, which is Recife. Oh, we made it. <laughs> we made it. We asked you guys what we should do while we were in Recife, and so many of you told us that we needed to come here. Look, didn't just tell us, told us that y'all would break our kneecaps, that y'all would send Guido to our front door, that you would unsubscribe from the channel, and never deal with us again if we didn't make it to <laughs> Olinda. So we are in the place to be for y'all and for us. Yeah, to check it out. I mean, the goal here today is to check out this town. It has a lot of history here, so we look forward to diving in. It's a cool little swanky, colorful town and I'm looking forward to learning a little bit more about it and getting some of the folklore and history behind this place. Yeah, so hang out with us today and we'll show you all about Olinda. Let's ride. Olinda is without a doubt a tourist city, but it is a tourist town done right. City center is overflowing with Mercados, watering holes, traditional restaurants, street vendors, history, architecture, and museums, but most importantly, it is a safe, family-friendly, beautiful place to spend the day. There are over 20 16th and 17th century churches here all ornately decorated, each with its own story of destruction, rebuilding, and endurance to tell. If this is your bag, I will suggest paying 75 real to one of the many qualified tour guides stationed all around the city. What up, Pope? This would be a temptation for Rondell. It is a sincere temptation. So you will not find a shortage of mirror doors here. Uh, so don't let anybody tell you that one is better than the other one and you gotta see this one. So far we've been to three different mirror doors and they are all breathtaking and beautiful. Not that high up, but you get a really wonderful look of the area. See the churches, you see the little villages down below. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five churches just from this stance right here. 
The architecture, the designs that went into the churches were all interesting. But what was more intriguing were the people that populated the town. Batista do Frevo, Olinda Pernambuco. Uh, you are a painter? Sure. This is painted this aquarella. This toda linda. They receive this boa viaje bit. This toda linda is one of the church of the cathedral. This is the church of the Carmelita. This Perfecto. toda linda. Perfecto. Can you tell us anything about Negros? Sure. Around this is one of the church of the black in Brazil. All linda. Right. The, right. the church of the Rosário dos Homens Negros. Is there a community of Negros here? Sure. It's the, um, donde? Where? Where? Largo do Amparo. Rua de Amparo. Bom sucesso. All right, my people, we just stopped off at a little cafe to get us some breakfast because we ain't eating Nathan this morning. Nathan. 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 But the whole point is to just kind of plan out what we're going to show you about this city. And I think I'm going to challenge us. What's that? To come up with one word uh, to describe the city um, by the time we leave it. Okay. So uh, just some quick observations about what we've seen so far. It's absolutely a city of carnival, city of festival. Like walking down these little narrow streets, you see these colorful, colorful houses mm -hmm. with their flags out. And you can tell like a party can happen here relatively quickly. I feel like at the drop of a dime, so people outside with guitars singing okay. and people will be jamming in the streets. Mm -hmm. I think that's the vibe I get. It reminds me of the K's over in Belize. Okay. What's your vibe? The name of the game is Hustle over here. All of these houses sell something, whether that is something to drink or something to buy, like a souvenir or textile. So it's very interesting. But what I really like is that it's also a really colorful area too. This city is considered one of the most beautiful and colorful towns in Brazil. So you can see a lot of those colors just strolling around here. It's a beautiful place. We're walking through the neighborhood right now. We just kind of walked our way down. Uh, one thing that you will recognize about Olinda is that it is a very hilly city. So just coming down here, we're noticing a lot of the architecture. And one of the reasons why this city has the designation of being a UNESCO World Heritage Site is because it's considered to have one of the most well-preserved colonial towns and architecture in Brazil. And usually we see a lot of Spanish colonial housing. Spanish colonial housing. We usually see a lot of Spanish colonial architecture throughout our travels. This is our first time seeing Portuguese colonial architecture and we are noticing that it does have a lot more vibrant colors here. So this city still carries a lot of its history and its architecture and it's really cool to see. This is Frevo, the lively and energetic music and dance style that originated in Recife. Frevo is strongly associated with carnival festivities in Pernambuco, particularly in Recife and right here in Olinda. Needless to say, the best time to catch this action is during Carnival in February. But another time worth visiting is in June for the June festivals. Welcome to the golden age of Dutch Brazil. So here they made uh, this place into something that it was not. 
First off, they burned the town down. They took down all of the opulence of the Portuguese. The Portuguese that lived here were the rich aristocratic individuals. They came in, pushed those guys out, burned everything, tore everything down, and proceeded to occupy this place uh, to the maximum. They invited, invited scholars, they invited scientists, they invited, invited artists, all of that area to come down here, converge here, and enjoy a life of luxury and of building community. And they did. In fact, by 1635, uh, the Portuguese were actually choosing this over uh, Portuguese-occupied areas of Brazil because they gave you freedom of religion, um, they also let you own your land, uh, you could have security to own your land, and that was a big deal back then. Now when I say freedom of religion, what I mean is they allowed Jews to practice before they had to claim Christianity to be here. Uh, they allowed Protestants to uh, flourish here and um, they allowed religions other than Catholicism to run the land. What you could not see and would not see is Africans live their best life. Uh, under both reigns, we suffered. We suffered tremendously. Uh, as the sugar plantations reigned, so did uh, cruelty and manipulation and the transatlantic slave trade. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Igor, and I work here at the Mercado Eufrazio Barbosa in Olinda, Pernambuco, right? Is this a cultural center? It's a cultural center, yeah. Okay. Okay. We have some spaces to visit, like galleries, the Momoleng Museum, mm -hmm. some libraries, and some handicraft store. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. So there's a little market inside of Yeah, the exactly, oh, wow. exactly. Can you tell us anything about the, uh, the museum that we Mom can't get into? Mamoleng, right, of course. Mm -hmm. Mamulang is a kind of puppet. It's the doll that you need to put your hands to move. And here we have the oldest uh, museum of, of this kind of, of dolls mm -hmm. of the Latin America. Yeah. You got like some big ones in there too, right? Uh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In general, they, they represent some folklore okay. characters okay. Okay. and okay. They, are made, uh, they are made by wood. A wood wow. called a mulungu. It's a mulungu. kind of mulungu. Okay. It's a kind of wood that you have here, mm -hmm. and this part of the. Of the Do show. they uh, are they in uh, the celebrations of uh, carnival? Of the carnival of the Saint John, Saint oh, John, you know, really? yeah, 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 and yeah, the procession. a lot of parties. We have some main ones, main characters, like the carnival ones, you yeah, know, yeah, then yeah, some yeah. more traditional, yeah. you know, but. All the people could be a, 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 a character in, in the Mamolengo theater. I got theater. questions for you, okay? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite food in Brazil? In Brazil? In Brazil. Macaxeira. Macaxeira. With shark. With shark. It's a kind of root yeah. with a kind of, of meat. Okay. You know, macaxeira okay. with shark. With shark. Or with the carne de sol, you know, it's a carne de sol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So dry meat, it's the sun, some dry meat. Yeah, interesting. interesting. Okay, okay. It's one of the best. Yeah. It's delicious though. It's, it's, we, have, we have a restaurant here mm -hmm. called uh, Casa di Noca. Casa di Noca. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Here in the historic part of the city of okay. Olinda. Ask the right. <coughs> Drum roll. Um, one word to describe Olinda. Olinda, right. Olinda is magic. Oh. oh, it's magic. It's unique, you know. It's because uh, we have. I'm from here, right? Yeah. But we have a lot of different things that we don't have in any part of the world, like the the, the culture, like the carnival. Uh, but we have uh, historical things. They are giant too. We have a lot of churches. With a, a lot of churches. Yeah, yes. a lot of churches. <laughs> in this part of the city, we have just in this part of the city, we have 23 churches. Okay, I know. I kept seeing yeah. them on every corner, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. exactly. And we have a lot of different things to know. All these things you, you need to come here. You need to come. To come here. You need to okay, come here. All right. What are what are two things that people can do if they come here that they have to do? In Olinda? Yes. Uh, you need to, to, to meet the frevo. You know what's frevo? It's a kind of rhythm that you have here in, at the carnival. The frevo ones, uh, I would say three things, okay, right? Okay. The giant dolls from the carnival, too, right? And you need to eat the tapioca. Oh. 
on the out to the set. Okay. All right? Tapioca is a big deal. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're new to the Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> So in a word, if I had to describe this place, the word would be worthy. Uh, this place is worthy of, of time, it's worthy of attention. There are historical elements here. The people are so chill here. Uh, but there are so many different things to know about this place that are even more than carnival. But carnival itself, the frevo, uh, tons of different dances, the food, the people. This place is definitely worthy of some time and attention. Its beauty is outstanding. And the historical context of it all with the uh, aristocrats being here, then getting chased out and then coming back other countries claim it as their capital. It's just a whole lot of history all mixed up and tangled here that's very interesting, intriguing, and a good time. It's worthy. My word is going to be quaint. And I say that because there's a lot of really kind of cute, compact areas of the town here. and. Really, it was one thing that so many people recommended that we check out in Hesife, and I learned that it was one of the reasons some people even come to Hesife is so that they can check out Olinda. But when you come here, you see the history of the architecture, you see a lot of the colors, and you see what kind of makes this city so unique. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say quaint. That's my word for Olinda. So this worthy and quaint. place is worth your time, uh, man. Let's not forget it's magical. It's magical, that's right, my man, it's magical. Uh, and it is, this is a cool little place to be. Uh, the history itself is what kept me going from block to block, from the next destination to the next destination. Uh, wear your walking shoes because you will be going, <laughs> trekking on some uneven ground. Um, yes. But again, this place is all that, man, in regards to finding something to do uh, for an affordable price and getting to absorb the history uh, and the culture of this place is magnificent. It's definitely a great place to check out if you're in Hesife. Definitely spend some time and come down to Olinda. I would say go the extra mile also. If you're coming to Brazil for Carnival, I would strongly, mm. strongly, strongly urge you to get here. We've talked to several locals and they tell not telling us that this is the best. You know, everybody's a city this has the well, best well, carnival. I like the reason they're like it's group participation. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You ain't it ain't no spectator sport here. Carnival is not a spectator sport here. So um, anyway, thank you all for joining us today as we explored another city here in Brazil. That's right, guys, and make sure you are subscribed to check us out in our other travels of Brazil. So we'll look, live long and prosper. Uh, April Rondell, our Ondel and Abriu. Peace and love, y'all. Ciao.